welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is our first year anniversary video. It has been one year since we put out videos. Our first one went out July 1st, 2021, and it was for the summer mystery box of 2021. And here we are, a whole year later, still doing videos. Never in a million years would I have ever thought that I would be um, putting out even one YouTube video, let alone a whole year's worth. But here we are. Cannot believe it's been a full year. It doesn't seem like that lot long ago that I started doing this, but apparently it's been an entire year. So yeah, so this is a little bit of an extra special video. I thought I should try to mark this occasion with something a little bit different. Um, so um, I know that a few weeks ago I had put out a video asking you guys, the viewer, what you want to see in this one year anniversary. And uh, lots of great ideas came in. And the awesome thing about that is all of the videos, ideas that you guys came up with were actually ideas I already had down on my list. So I had already been thinking about this, I guess, six months ago. I'd been thinking about this and brainstorming ideas for yeah the past six months. And I had been writing them all down. And I thought, well, maybe there's a great one out there that I hadn't thought about. So I put it out to you guys. And... Like I said, thankfully, I guess all of the ones that you guys put out, I already had down, uh, which means, I guess, great minds think alike. And uh, it also just means that the videos you want to see are the videos that I kind of want to do as well. Um, so I, it was hard to sort of narrow down which one I wanted to do, uh, but I kind of had to like look at like how much time I had and how much space I had and like the logistics of trying to do all the different videos. And so I thought this one I would do. Uh, the very first one, I thought I may as well do like how I became a lug nut um, just because, yeah, let's start at the beginning, right? So the first of my sort of special edition videos, I thought I should start from the very beginning. So I just thought I would uh, kind of take you on my sort of lug journey and um, and maybe you guys can share with me what your lug journeys were. So, um, yeah, so I started out looking at lugs years and years ago, uh, living in Canada. So I live downtown Toronto, Canada. Um, in Ontario and um, Lug has been here for a while. Lug started out in, in Canada. Uh, their warehouses are still here. Uh, Amy, the founder of the company, is from Canada and so she's like she's just uh, you know, like, like, like one city over from where I am. Uh, it's actually the same city now but it used to be separate back when you know when she was growing up here and um, anyway so it's you know this is the home of Lug so of course Lug has been here for a long time. Time. So probably uh, as long as I can, you know, think back to like me looking at bags actively, Lug was sort of sort of already on the scene. So everywhere you went, so luggage stores, uh, storage stores, uh, even like like tourist attractions, uh, you could find Lugs. So going going to Niagara Falls, I remember going into like the souvenir shops, the nicer ones. Uh, they would have like a little travel section of like bags and uh, like travel, uh, you know, like little size things and accessories and. And there were always lugs there. And of course, I would always beeline to that section, um, even though I was just, you know, being a tourist and looking for stupid crap to just, you know, occupy my day. Um, I'd be like, oh, hang on, bags. And um, they had great stuff and looked like it was a lot of fun. And it looked like some really unique stuff, but very expensive. And at the time, I really didn't know how good it was. I couldn't have, I didn't know anyone who could attest to how good the stuff was. So I kind of just left it because there were things that I thought I could probably get cheaper um, anywhere else. And so I left them. So now that was probably like 12 years ago or something like that, that I first started seeing them. Um, and, um, so now fast forward like another eight years, I have a messenger bag and like the bag that I carry to work every day and a wallet that are in desperate, desperate need of replacement because they're both falling apart. So I had a, a messenger bag from Eddie Bauer. It was blue and it was, I loved it. It had tons of pockets, huge capacity. It was really comfortable on my shoulder. It never, like it was, it, it, there was never anything it seemed like it couldn't carry. Um, and I bought that at a warehouse sale for $35. It was really cheap. It was the only one there. I had never seen anything like it before. And it continued to be my best friend for about, probably 12 years, almost 13 years. And I went everywhere with that thing. It traveled with me every single day. Probably I hung out with it more than I hung out with any other creature on this planet for that span of time. So uh, when it was starting to fall apart, I was very, very sad to see it go. And I literally had 
patched it, sewn it, glued it, replaced parts. Like it was Franken bag by the time I had to throw it away. I did everything I could to prolong its life so that I could keep using it because one, I loved it. Two, I was not able to find a bag to replace it. There was never anything that fit the bill. It was either too small or way too big or didn't have the pockets or had no organization or really uncomfortable or just butt ugly. Um, so it was really hard to replace. And then um, my wallet was also falling apart. Now it wasn't a favorite of mine. I got it really cheap and um, it just happened to have lots of card slots and a couple of like sections so I could like section off my work stuff and my personal stuff and lots of little pockets and things like that so it was it was like the layout was good the way it was designed was good but it was made of I think like spit and paper and it looked awful within about a year it looked like I had probably like run it through you know like like a I don't know like some kind of fire and it just survived a fire so it was it was a terrible looking thing so both of these beloved things were falling apart and things that I needed every single day so I went on a hunt so I started going into stores and I went on websites and of course I remembered that I you know had been looking at lugs for a while, so I decided to go onto the lugs website and find, um, you know, just see if there was anything that would suit the bill. And I sort of highlighted these ones. So these are the screenshots I took of um, some stuff on the website, I think 2016, 2017. And um, yeah, these made my short list, but they were still too expensive. I still had me able to lay eyes on them anywhere. So I had no idea if these were gonna be exactly what I was looking for. Um, and they were, like I said, really expensive. So then I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave it for now. And then one day, one of my friends walked into the room with a bag that I'd actually seen her with a lot. I'd seen her coming in with it for a couple of years, and it was the puddle jumper. And I kind of said, okay, you know, I'm going to ask her because I've been looking at Lug, even though I hadn't really seen anything on the website. I should at least ask her anyway. So I said, hey, okay, tell me about this bag. Do you love it? What do you think? Do you like the brand? Have you ever used it before? And she went on for about 15 minutes solid, showing me every pocket, every detail, every zipper, every little, you know, little feature. Uh, she flashed that little, that little clear view pocket as well. Um, there were so many things about it. I was like, okay, this is really, really good. And she thought that it was worth the price. And she was also telling me how many other lugs she's owned and how they've been really good to her. So I was like, okay, good to know. I'll keep that in the back of my mind. And I started trying to look for them, but the ones that they had at the time were all, they weren't colors I probably would have necessarily wanted. Um, and again, really expensive. Uh, I think they were like $150 or something like that in the store. And I probably had never spent more than like $60 for a bag. So to go from paying 60 to 150, was a bit of a jump for me at the time. Um, anyway, and then so a couple months or a few months later, another one of my friends walks in and she's got uh, a wallet. So she's now got a log wallet. So she walks in with the cake flip and she's paying for something. And I see her open up this beautiful wallet. It's the one in the royal blue, uh, the, in the cobalt blue there at the top of the screen is the one that she had because it was a beautiful color. I remember how beautiful that color was. Um, so I happen to be a, a lover of blue. So when she had this blue wallet and then she opened it up, I was like, oh my God, it's got so many card slots. It's got lots of zippers. I love the way it opened. And, and she was saying, yeah, like you can actually even wear a strap on it. So you can just wear it as a purse so you don't need a purse you can just take your wallet which I actually have done many times and that was one of the features that my previous wallet had as well so I always carried a strap around so that if I was like sitting if I had all my stuff in the car and I really just wanted to run into the grocery store and buy a few things I wasn't taking my whole bag I could just you know throw the little straps on throw it over my shoulder and boom, off I went with just the wallet it was amazing so the fact that this wallet had the same feature and it was a feature I'd never really seen before in any other wallet so I was like perfect where do you get it she's like yeah I've had this for years um, I don't know if you can get this anymore so I was really bummed out and of course I went to all the different stores I couldn't find anything like it because by that point this particular wallet had been discontinued and wallets were actually hard to come by so I was a little bummed out that I was kind of, okay I can't get a bag I can't find the wallet um, so anyways a little bit saddened by the whole thing but it was okay I was gonna keep looking and so I went back to the website and I was looking on the website every couple of months or so just to see if there was anything new and um, Finally, one day I go and there's a sale and it's like, I think like up to 70% off or something insane like that. So I decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and actually make a purchase. And my first bag that I bought for myself was the minibus. And it was, 
Uh, it had lots of pockets. It had lots of zippers, lots of sections. It looked like a really good size. I thought it was a really handsome bag, like a really pretty bag. Um, it could be, you know, it could look quite serious, but it was also a little bit casual. Um, I got the one in black. I do have this one as well in this color, but I got the one in black. And when I kind of looked at it, it, was, it, when I finally got it in the mail, it was small. <laughs> and when I stood it next to my messenger bag, it was way too small. And I, I tried to stuff it and I was like, oh my God, there's no way I can get all my stuff. There was like half of the stuff that I had in my bag previously didn't fit in the minibus. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try it. So I used this one. So I got, I, I got the, bur the burgundy one second. Um, I tried to use it. Every single time I used, went to use it, I either couldn't close the zipper or it just felt like I was carrying this giant brick. So it didn't work. It was way too small. So I thought, all right, back to the drawing board. Let's go back to the website. Luckily, the other thing that was actually still on sale um, was a bag I liked the look of a whole lot. Um, and I ordered it, got it in the mail. It was the gondola, this exact one I got. So I do have a review video if you guys wanna see that. Uh, just look through my list of videos. It's one of the early, early ones. Um, anyways, same thing. Love the features, love the look of it. Every, I love the color, like I love, I still love this color. It's still one of my favorite bags to look at. Um, but unfortunately, far too small. Couldn't fit, again, half the stuff that I needed. And it really wasn't very comfortable when it was packed. So I had to let it go and I was really sad. And I thought, okay, well, I still have it just wasn't what I was going to use it for. But I also got a couple other little things. So one of the ones was I got a can can and it was my first like tiny bag, my first tiny little purse. Um, and I, I'd never really carried a purse. I always carry like big backpacks. Um, it's been, it's been a long time since I've carried a purse, like probably since I was in my teens. And, um, yeah, I, I loved it. So I have this one here. I have the one of the black dots here at the side and it's my favorite little bag. Now I have other ones now, so I don't use it as often, but I loved it. I use it probably for a year solid and especially during the pandemic and the early lockdown when I was really going nowhere. Um, I didn't take, I didn't need to take everything with me. This thing was perfect. It held, it held exactly what I wanted. So bit by bit, I was sort of falling in love with all the fun lug features. The, the fact that this was a crossbody and a belt bag and, uh, you know, I could wear it over the shoulder and had a water bottle pouch on the side, all the fun little details that made it lug. I was really becoming almost attached to. So whenever I went out looking for other bags, I'm like, Oh, but it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that and all these features that Lug exclusively makes. So anyways, um, fast forward a little while long, a little while later, um, there's actually, um, so I finally signed up on the Facebook page and um, I got an announcement on my Facebook page and it's about a warehouse sale. And luckily I only live about 45 minutes away from the warehouse. So I texted my three lug nut friends and said, hey, there's a warehouse sale, who wants to go? And luckily one of them wanted to come with me. So she and I went first and the other two sort of came on their own on a different day. But when we went, uh, it was insanity. So the one that the first one that we went to uh, was one where it was like lots of returns and lots of um, sort of, you know, sort of defective things. So there was always like a sticker, a tag on it that said, you know, stain on the bottom, zipper broken, missing snap, um, whatever, hook missing. So whatever was on it, there was a little sticker that said it, but they were dirt cheap. So I was able to get things super, super cheap. So I got a couple of flappers. They were $10 each. I didn't see anything wrong with them. Um, I think maybe they were missing a strap. One of them was missing a strap. Anyway, so then I got like a whole bunch of other things, but the thing that was the best that I got was the bag that eventually came to replace my messenger bag. And it's the bumper. So I got the bumper in black. It was $35 and that's the price, like that was the reduced price. So it was black, like I said, it had been used I think before, there were no tags on it, but there was nothing wrong with it. So it just must've been a return. And anyways, it made it into the bin and I was ecstatic. I didn't even know this bag existed. I loved all the features. I loved every pocket, the size of it, the feel of it, the handles were perfect. It could be a crossbody with separate detachable straps or the tote, which I love. That pocket is my favorite favorite pocket ever. Uh, the shoe compartment was almost the most amazing thing I've seen. Um, I loved everything about it. So it uh, replaced my, my beloved messenger bag. And once I used this, cause I was my work bag. So I use it every single day. I fell in love. And that was officially when I became a lug nut, when I was like, I will never be able to go back to a regular bag. Every single one of these lug bags that had so many amazing features, 
basically spoiled me. So I was still looking at bags because I was in, a, in the habit of doing so. So going to all the stores, I would pick them all up and go, oh, but it doesn't have a cell phone pocket. Oh, but I can't detach the, the strap. Oh, there's only one way to wear it. Oh, but it's not big enough. Oh, but there's not enough pockets. Oh, there's no clear view. So I had sort of realized that there was no way that I could go back to just a plain bag. And it was, it's been, I really haven't even bothered to look anymore because there's, I feel like there's no point. Um, and then of course the bag that I had, so the, the bumper that I had, even though it had been used, it looked great. And I use it every single day for probably a solid year. Um, and it never showed me wear and tear. Uh, there was never any issues with it. It was continued to be comfortable. I was ecstatic. And that was it. So that was now an official lug nut. I was sold. So there was no way that I could ever go back. And now I'm looking at the lug website every single day. So if I'm a little bit down, I'll go to the website. If I need a little pick me up, I'll go to the website. If I'm trying to calm down at the end of the night, I will look at the website. So I just sort of became obsessed and I started, you know, I suddenly realized I knew all the colors. I knew the names of all the bags. I knew all the features. Um, and, uh, I suddenly realized that I may be a bit of an addict. And so anyway, so I've, I've, we've got the bumper. Everything is great. I've got all the bags I want and boom, we go into a lockdown. So, um, kind of out of work. <laughs> uh, wasn't really working anymore. Uh, well, not really. And, um, anyways, a little bit sad that, um, you know, I wasn't able to buy any more lugs, but then, um, there must've been some kind of thing on QVC. I don't really know what it was cause I didn't really even know QVC at the time. Um, and, um, there was some kind of thing going on and there must've been some kind of contest because the, because a lug, sorry, because a Canadian, Canadian website or whatever it was, because at the time there were two websites. There was an American one, there was a Canadian one. And on the Canadian website, there was this contest that said uh, you could enter your email address and you could win whatever. And there was like a little spinning wheel. So you entered your email address and then a pop-up would, uh, would come up and it was like a little, one of those electric wheels and you would spin it and it would, and then it would sort of click, 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 click. And it would stop on a, like on a little pie, a uh, little pie section. And then that's what you won. And I don't remember what all the prizes were. I think there were a couple of free items maybe, which I don't remember at all. Um, I know that there was, I think like 20% off uh, your entire lug life purchase, uh, 25% off. And it went up to 50% off off your entire purchase. And this was on the website only. They didn't have Lug Live at the time. So anyways, I put my first thing in. I think I got like 25 or 20% off, which I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, not amazing. You know, when you're looking at a $160 bag, 20% off is okay. Our taxes are really high here where we pay 13% of tax. So it's basically like saving tax. And uh, it's like, okay, well, you know, it's pretty good. So I thought, well, I have five email addresses. I've got like, you know, a few for work. I've got another work. So I've got all these different email addresses. Let me plug in another one and see what happens. So I kept plugging them in. I got like 25%. And I told my friends as well. So I texted them all going, hey, everybody, go and put your email address in. Spin the wheel. You can get a coupon code. And of course, they all got 25%, which is great. So I was like, okay, obviously the average is 25%, which is cool. The very last email address that I typed in was the one that absolutely changed my life. So basically what ended up happening was I, whoops, oh dear, what did I do here? Help, <laughs> my slideshow screwed up because I got too excited and I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, anyway, so we're just gonna watch this for a little bit. So I actually finally, my very, like I said, my very, very last email address produced something that I was pretty excited about because it completely changed my life. It changed my day. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I got the 50% off coupon. I wasn't sure at first. I had to like stare at it for a while because I was like, I think that says 50%. I'm a little dyslexic. So I was like, maybe it's 20 and I'm just seeing it wrong. Um, anyway, so I stood there and I sort of watched it and I was like, no, I think that's what I got. I think that's what I got. And then when I got my email confirmation with the, with the coupon code, it's like, holy crap. It says he, it says 50% off. So here's the thing. I got up, I was walking around my house. I was delirious for about five minutes. I think my reaction to winning the 50% off coupon probably would not have been much different if you had told me I'd won a million dollars. So it was probably the best day of my life. Here we are in the middle of a lockdown and I, as far as I was concerned, won the bloody lottery. <laughs> <laughs> and I was beyond excited because I had been looking at the website and drooling over all the bags I could get if I had lots of money. 
And uh, then I went nuts. So I'm like, oh my God, I might be able to afford all these different things. And luckily there was still a sale going on. And this is back in the day when you could still double dip and you could still like get your, your sale items for the sale price, but you get an additional uh, discount. So in this case, if something was already on sale for like 40% off, 50% off, I could get an additional 50%. So I kind of went mental. And I also then called my friends and said, okay, guess what? I won the 50% off coupon. My win is your win. You tell me what you want. I'm putting it on the order. You're going to get 50% off as well. So anything you want on the website, you tell me what it is. I'll plug in the order. You pay me back later. We're all getting 50%. So the order ended up coming to over $700. That's after the discount. So we ordered a lot of stuff between the four of us. And it was so much fun. Like when I got the box, it was huge. It was like the size of like a, like a, like a, like a big, chair <laughs> and it was so big and so heavy I could barely get it up the stairs um and it was obviously just in a regular box because there was no beautiful lug box that was gonna fit anything like that and even when I got it it had already split so the side had split a little bit so you could sort of see inside what was going on luckily everything was still in there but it was so big and so heavy it actually burst the, bo the box so and I don't even live that far away from the warehouse it wasn't like it was coming across the border um so it didn't have very far to go anyways so one the 50 percent off as far as I was concerned I won the lottery it was the best day of my life I had never won anything in my entire life so I kind of went to town so I got a couple of jibs one of them was in that waves navy still use them to this day I got some eco shoppers in this print in the season's greetings I got one set for myself this is back when they came in a set of three it was a really good price and um I got two other sets for a friend so I got them as gifts as well so I got lots of Christmas shopping done as well and it was the middle of April and I was getting birthday presents and Christmas presents it was hilarious um my very first coupe came so it was the crimson large dot i still wear it in fact i was wearing it just today um my favorite favorite bag i had been drooling over the coupe since i saw it um and i was like oh my god i can't wait to get this bag i can't wait so i finally got it and unfortunately the ones i really really wanted it all sold out by the time i had gotten this coupon code so this was like my number four choice my number one two and three were all gone um and, and so my fourth one came and I was like you know what I don't even care I just want a coop and I thought that one was going to be the most fun and it was going to make me happy and most you know the most excited to use out of the ones that were left over so I still use it every day I still absolutely love it then I also got my sister some Christmas gifts. So these are pillows that you can turn inside out and they have a different picture or a different message on the flip side of like on the inside of the pillowcase. But the pillow itself, when you pull, when you open the zipper, you pull the thing out, the thing that makes it look like a pillow and it's a blanket. So these ones were regularly like, I think a hundred dollars, like 80, so like $98. They were on for half off. I got an extra half off. So these things I think were $25 each. So I basically got like a $200 gift for like $50. It was the best thing ever. And my sister loved them. Um, she actually was sort of telling me, oh, I use them all the time. And um, ever since then, I've been getting blankets from her because I think she thinks I love blankets. <laughs> so, uh, which I do, but it's just like, I always get blankets from her now. So anyway, so there's this weird thing that she and I now exchange blankets essentially every Christmas. But it was just the best deal and I was so happy because I knew it was gonna be something she was gonna love and I knew that it was gonna be useful and I didn't have to spend a ton of money it was the best thing so like when you can get a gift for someone that you know they're going to love and then you on top of that don't have to like break the bank doing it and you know you got it like months in advance to me that's like crack that's my crack knowing that I've gotten the best gift for someone and I got a really good deal on it and I don't have to like rush at the last minute seriously totally totally turns my crank so uh, so that was like the highlight of the one of the highlights and then the wallet that wallet that I was desperate to get rid of well guess what I got to replace it with the kickflip 3 in the dragonfly navy which is my favorite big wallet I love it I still love it it's probably a little too big for what's happening with me right now but I always wish that I could still use it. so I used this for an entire year and I loved it every time I pulled it out I smiled my heart skipped a little bit and every time I opened it up it's like I love this wallet and sometimes I would actually turn to my man and go I love my wallet <laughs> Like just like we were in line at Costco and I'd be like, look at this. I love my wallet. He's like, yes, I know. I know you love your wallet. But when you've had like a black cruddy looking wallet for years uh, and you hated it because it just looked like someone threw up on it and then you get this beautiful thing. Ugh, totally, totally, totally changes 
everything in your day. It just makes you feel so much better. And it's so organized and it was so user friendly. There was never, I, had, I really had no complaints about this wallet at all. It really was the perfect wallet for me. I also got the little minuet. It's this, it's a tiny little thing and I'd never had a small wallet, like not like this anyways. Um, and I just got it as a, it was because I was like, it's going to be $20. Cause I think it was $40. It was just, it was like regular 40. And I thought, well, it's a $20 wallet, which is relatively reasonable for a small wallet. It looked really cute. These were my, these colors, um, were the colors that I loved when I was young. So navy blue and peach were my favorite colors when I was in, in high school. And this thing was like navy blue and peach. So I was like, well, how am I not going to get the wallet that has navy blue and peach on the same thing? And I used to have a shirt with the exact same colors. So it, had, it was like stripes with blue and taupe, like that taupey sort of olivey, you know, color there. And then um, the peach and black. It was my favorite shirt ever. Um, I don't even know what happened to it. And it looks exactly like my shirt. It was just stripes though. So I just thought on a whim, I'll just get it. So it turns out I fell in love with this little wallet. I used it again. Anytime I needed a little wallet, this was the one I turned to. I had it sitting on my desk for ages because of the quilting on it. Like all this little quilting here, it, it became like my little stress ball. So when I was really stressed out or really sad or really upset about something, which happened a lot that year, um, I would just squish, squish the little squares and squish the little rectangles and it made me feel better. So this was like my little stress reliever for a while too. So not only did it act as a wallet, but it actually acted as like a little tactile stress reliever. So I had it living on my, on my desk for like a year and a half. I had to finally put it away because I didn't want to ruin my wallet. I was like, I think I may be overhandling my wallet. So I had to finally put it away and um, I now use other things to squish. But um, that was like my, like, it was like the thing that I went to when I needed to just have a little pick me up and I would like open it and look at it. And anyway, so these two were like my happy places during you know a time that wasn't all that great um and I still love them they're probably my two favorite wallets and don't tell my other wallets that because they might feel a little bit sad because I tell them they're my favorites too okay so anyway that's my those are my wallets that I got in that order pardon me I just got a little sip of water because I got really excited talking about my wallets so I got the whoops I got them I'm gonna go back a little bit so I got the mini trolley for the woo man um because he really needed like a little shaving kit the ones the one, I'd given him one before, but it was kind of ugly and it was, it was sort of sagging. And I thought I'm going to get him a mini trolley. So I got him one of those. He loves it. He uses it every single day. It goes with him every day to work when he travels, it sits next to the bed when he's, you know, like, like when, like when at the end of the day, he'll come home, he'll sort of unload whatever he needs to load and repack it and reload it. So it I see it all the time. Like almost every day I see that thing come out and I, I know secretly he, absolutely loves this thing. I don't think he really wants to tell me how much because I think he doesn't want to feed more into my lug addiction because if I, if I know that I'll probably give him like five of these things. Uh, but I, I know he loves it. And I also got myself the canter because I didn't have a normal backpack. So I only carry backpacks. I don't carry purses. The backpacks I've been carrying were um, the ones that you wear, like when you're going hiking. <laughs> um, and I got them at, you know, I've been getting these at like, um, at like outdoor stores and that's all I've been using probably for about 15 years. And so I thought maybe I should get myself like a more adult looking, uh, uh, backpack or one that I could actually go to someone's house and not feel like I was like, yeah, like on the amazing race. So anyway, so I got myself a Heather Indigo canter absolutely love it. I still use it. I don't use it as much now because I don't need to carry everything in my, in my bag on my, on my back, but it still sits there. Um, it's sort of like where I get all my stuff so that I can put them into smaller purses, but it's absolutely one of my favorite things ever. I love all the pockets. I love the style. I love the color. It matches everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, canter. I, I can't say enough good things about it. And then um, so a little bit of time goes by, I've, I'm enjoying all my lugs and lug live happens. So the brand new concept that they do where it's, you know, you get to shop online and it's all live and, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like a Tupperware party, but for lugs. And, uh, I watched it for ages and ages and ages and I didn't buy anything. And then finally I bit the bullet. I actually thought, okay, I'm just going to do it. They were about to change the, the way they price things and they were about to change the whole system over. And, uh, I thought, okay, you know what, let's do it. So I got myself a 20% off code and I went to town and I bought probably $350 worth of stuff and I got 20% off. 
And um, so yeah, I got some clear views. I got a couple of coin pouches. I got uh, some gifts. So I still use this wildflower um, multi uh, brush holder that's canoe every day. It sits on my desk. Um, yeah, you know, got a few others that were like gifts for people. Um, my coops, I added to my coop collection. So now I've got four. My favorite color, Buffalo Check Red, which I use all the time. Navy, which is another go-to because I wear a lot of blue and a lot of navy. And it just seems to go with other things even if I'm not wearing navy. And weirdly, I got Heather Gray. It's usually not a color I go to, but I just, well, first of all, they were really inexpensive. Like I got a really good deal on them. So it was 20% off of $37, which at the time was really, really good. And I was getting free shipping and there was no tax. So I thought, all right, let's just do it. And I used it a lot. So that first summer that I had it, I used it all the time. It was really weird. I was like, why do I keep bringing out the gray? Um, I did not think this was going to be the color I was going to use a lot. But anyway, so I had, now I'm up to four coops at this point in my lug career. I got myself another ace. So I had an ace. Uh, I I bought an ace two in dragonfly navy earlier in the year i loved it so much i thought i may as well get the shimmer wine so i can have a summer color and then a autumn color and also i have a backup in case something happens to my first one uh the runner in shimmer navy absolutely beautiful love it wanted to get it for when i go to like meetings and conventions and things like that and i needed some organization but i did need to carry like a whole lot of stuff um, haven't officially used it yet but it's packed and ready to go and then of course i had to get a puddle jumper in a uh, duffel in the buffalo check red haven't used it yet because i thought we would go traveling at some point haven't gone anywhere yet i'm hoping to have, have have that change soon and then the avion in shimmer navy so one of my friends bought the shimmer navy when i got the 50 percent off coupon that was her choice and then i was like okay looks like looks like an interesting bag but when i saw it in real life because i when i got her order I fell in love. I was like, oh my God, I, I think I need to have this bag. And, um, but I was like, okay, it was, I think 150 bucks or something like that Canadian, way too expensive. So I had to wait. And then luckily it was relatively inexpensive on Lug Live. So I thought with a 20% off coupon, it's the only time I'm going to be able to afford it. Let's do it. And I, I've, I've since used it. There is a review on my, on my list of uh, videos of me doing a review. I love this bag and I love looking at it. I think it's so pretty. Probably one of the most beautiful colors. All the shimmers are just amazing. I'm really sad that they don't have them anymore. Um, so yeah, so that was um, like a bag that I never expected to get, but because I had a friend who got it and I saw it, I fell in love and then I had to have my own as well. So there we go. So, and then after that, it's just been, I just keep ordering more stuff because I don't know what else to do. It's just so great. Lug is always coming up with new stuff that I'm like, oh, that's clever, or a new color. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Um, oh, that's a really neat size. And I, I don't know when it's going to stop. Um, I definitely have a little bit of a problem. And eventually I'm going to have to build a house out of Lugs because I won't have any more place to live. And, um, and I probably won't have any money left either. So I'll just be like living in my lugs and, uh, maybe off of my lugs. So I'm going to sell them all because I won't have any money left. But anyways, um, they have sort of, you know, made me happy and they make me smile. And I sort of end up feeling a little bit more organized, even if I'm not for real. Uh, and then I can imagine all the fun places I might go, even though I haven't gone anywhere yet, but I do use my lugs. I do use a lot of them. I don't have to use all of them, but I used all I've used most of them now in some way or another, and it's been awesome. So I don't regret any of my purchases in that I love them all, but I regret that maybe I should be spending my, my money on maybe more important things. <laughs> But you know what? The, the This has really been a, a fun year in some ways. It's been a bad year for many things. And it was a fun year because I did have lug that sort of kept me, uh, you know, smiling and kept me excited about something. So, you know, wh what do you do? I mean, it, it, it's, it's bad that that was sort of what I turned to. But uh, at the same time, you know, sort of not going into the into the into the depths of despair is always a good thing, too. So that's it that's my lug story and um here i am i still i'm talking about lugs and i still love talking about them um i never thought this was going to be what i'm doing but here i am and i just want to sort of you know mark it with a with a special with a little uh, a little special celebration so that's my lug story um i would love to know what your lug story is we all have one we all have our first lug we all have that moment where we go huh this is interesting and then when did that turn from this is cool to holy crap, I can't stop. Um, or I, you know, you're always looking at new lugs and new bags and you're always tuning into the, you know, to the website and watching the video.
over and over again or watching even like these YouTube videos my YouTube videos um, you're obviously you know looking at lug enough that you're seeking more and more videos to see so what was it that changed it for you which bag was it what thing was it what feature was it that made you go Yep, this is it. I'm officially a lug nut. I would love to hear your stories. So please put those in the comments. I can't wait to hear them because um, I figured if I shared mine, you should definitely be able to tell me what yours are as well. So those of you who've been watching, thank you so much. I truly never expected anyone to actually watch my videos. I first put out my, vi my very first video just to show my friends what I got in my uh, summer 2021 uh, mystery box. And I just had nowhere else to put the video but on YouTube because it was the only place I would take such a large file. So it was just for my friends because I wasn't able to show them in person. And then I thought, oh yeah, I may as well put it out there for everybody and maybe someone else would enjoy watching it. And that's how it started. And here I am and I can't believe I'm not just talking to myself. So vote for those of you who have been watching, thank you so, 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 so much. I so appreciate that you do watch. And I'm glad that, you know, maybe I'm helping, you know, you see some fun stuff and maybe you know just by sharing the lug love that we're all getting just a little bit of an extra you know pick me up in our day I think that's that's kind of cool and um, and for those of you who like leave comments and leave kind feedback thank you so much it means more to me than I ever thought it would um, I'm not into social media I didn't think that it would be you know something I would really care about but apparently it's always nice to hear just nice things and that you guys actually do watch and do enjoy these videos and even learn something from them and if I can ever help um, you know make a decision or whatever it is I'm even more happy that I can do that so um, so that's it so let me know what your stories are huge huge thank you for everybody who watches and who comments and um, shares their stories with me it means so much to me and uh, have a great lug day <laughs> So there'll be other videos, don't you worry, there are other milestones coming, so all those ideas that you guys left for me, they are coming, those videos are coming at some point, I don't know when, but they will be coming, so stay tuned. Thank you so, so much for watching, take care, and have a good one.